One of the other bills that you're supporting as a co-sponsor is to make the AR-15 a national gun. Why is that a good position? We have a national everything. There's so many mass shootings. I understand. How can you but, defend that? But, Marsha, it's not about defending. Mass shootings have, have nothing to do with guns. They have to do with mental health because we have a bad health care yeah, system in this country. People What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here. And mass shootings have nothing to do with guns. They have everything to do with mental health. Marsha Kramer, host of The Point, spoke with pathological liar George Santos recently about his support for a bill that would make the AR-15 the national gun. Another deceitful and wasteful venture by far-right jackaloons that claim to support mental health legislation. People with mental health issues can get an AR-15. Well, Are you just kidding? by designating an AR-15 the national gun doesn't mean that it's wildly available. The, the laws are, are standing there. And the reality is when we're talking about people accessing guns, we need to make sure that we're holding accountable the point of sale. Are they upholding current existing laws? We have hundreds of uh, gun laws on the books that are not upheld nationally. H.R. 1095 was introduced in February of 2023 by Alabama Representative Barry Moore and co-sponsored by the Merry Band of Idiots, Clyde Andrews, Lauren Boebert, Marge Trainwreck Green, and George Santos. Santos has a personal stake in this legislation and is biased towards seeing it through. He joined Marge the Trainwreck Green and other GOP jackaloons like Lauren Boebert in an organized attack on gun safety laws. Imagine that. A two-bit shyster like George Santos crying about laws not being upheld. It's ridiculous. Are you actually are telling me that you're supporting gun reform legislation? I, it's not. I'm supporting gun reform legislation. The, the legislation's already there. I'm asking for the laws to be hell, upheld. The laws already on the books. That Should there be stronger laws? I think the laws are pretty strong as they stand. If you look at them, they're just not applied. On the other side of Crazy Town, Marge the Trainwreck Green suggested that strict gun laws create murder. Marge made the comment at a field hearing of the Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. When one comes to understand that Marge, Lauren Boebert, and George Santos are all in this together, their deceit becomes more apparent. Here's Chicago gun violence in 2023. Memorial Day weekend, 53 people were shot. 11 people were killed. Did you see the Democrat pundits on television screaming their heads off about mass shootings in Chicago? No, you didn't hear a thing about it and they don't dare report it. Why is that? Because it tells the truth that every single American knows. It tells the truth that strict gun laws actually create murder. Marge presented her usual sloppy rhetoric and conspiracies as facts at the field hearing for the ATF. That's the same thing that George Santos is doing in this interview, presenting idiotic opinions. He and Marge are selling the same agenda, and all of their idiotic shenanigans are intended to distract the public from the truth. The truth that every Republican votes against every mental health care measure that comes up in Congress. They blame mental health for gun violence, but won't do a damn thing about it except try to put the AR-15 on a pedestal for toothless jackaloons to worship. Their legislation is a waste of money, and it's obvious that they're grandstanding. Their intent is to politicize common sense. Bobert, Green, Santos, and Barry Moore are all satisfied with losing second graders in school shootings in exchange for the Second Amendment. Their intent is to vilify anyone opposed to the NRA and Republican Jesus. They actually disrespect the memory of every child that has been lost in school shootings. There's an old saying about not taking military advice from draft dodgers or ethical advice from criminals. George Santos is a criminal, and while the Republicans are trying to take away contraception and reproductive rights and force us into a Christian Taliban theocracy, clowns like Marge the Trainwreck Green and George Santos are busy distracting the American public away from what the Republicans are really doing. Everything coming out of the mouths of Marge the Trainwreck Green, Lauren Boebert, and George Santos is pure garbage. They are attempting to sell out the soul of the nation. We don't need a push for a national gun, especially now. This should expose clowns like Bobert, Green, and Santos as being sellouts. It should expose them for who they really stand for, and it's not for the children of this nation. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.